All right, YouTube, I want to welcome you in right now. We are about to do a film study session here on YouTube. Film study sessions are a little bit different than breakdown videos. We are going to look at the film. We will be starting and stopping. We will be rewinding. We will be taking moments where it's pa start, pause, start, pause. It's a little bit different than just a breakdown video. That is due to the fact that we are trying to take a look at what is happening. Coaches are looking and seeing what the first step might be for an opposing player, what they're trying to do with the play, what the defense is, trying to diagnose things and break it down. And so if you're a part of this, this is what you're going to be a part of and doing. So welcome in. Hopefully we can, we can show you some things that maybe you didn't realize are done in the room. I do have my pen once again to write on the screen. So just bear with us. If you have questions, make sure to ask them. If you want, if you spot something and the challenge is while you're watching the film, if you see something that maybe I don't talk about, point it out in the chat for me so that I can see. But guys, this is the kind of stuff that we will be having in terms of live streams going forward. We may have some guys who are coaches in the chat uh, talking as well. They will be chatting with you guys, talking with you guys, answering questions things like that and also just so you're aware maybe at some point some of them might be on the stream talking with me through the microphone so there we go again we've got the link so hold on i was on twitch sending all my twitch viewers over to here so my twitch viewers that is the stream right there that's the link follow that we were over there right now we're going to end on twitch and switch over to youtube okay guys all right so let's take a look at it right off the bat what i want you guys to notice is that we are looking at asu running the swinging gate and if you've never seen the swing swinging gate this is what it is okay notice we've got offensive linemen down here okay Four of them, center, two tight ends, and then receivers, receiver. Okay? Maybe those are backs. Those might be backs, actually. That might be a back and a tight end. Back and a tight end. So we have five offensive linemen, running back, tight end, and three receivers. So we have 11. Now, the thing about it is you have to make sure that your receiver, if they're eligible, right, they're on the line. So it's one fun formation. You're right, Tyler. This is, it causes a lot of controversy, and this has not been on film as well. Just so you guys are aware, UCLA has not seen this on film, and you can tell as we go through, there will be plays that, that UCLA is not aligned properly on. I've got my headphones in for right now. Normally, I don't do that for breakdown videos, but got them in now. Uh, so as you can see, up top, we've got one, two ASU players, and we have one two ucla players okay right here in the middle we got one two three and he's trying to play he's trying to play in between but he's really more of a four so there's four on four right here but you can only block three and then down here we got one two three four five and so what the quarterback is trying to do is he's trying to find his best matchup based on this okay so it can be a run with the quarterback. It can be a screen up top to the receivers, or it can be a screen down below to the other receiver with the four linemen blocking. Quarterback has total option here on what he's going to do. Okay, so <clears throat> real quick, I've already seen this play. It's a bubble screen out here. Okay, they're all going to run block. They're going to block, they're going to block, they're going to block, they're going to block. He's going to step back to catch the ball. And the quarterback picks his best matchup. Based on this, where do you guys think the best matchup is? And I'm not, I, we don't have a lot of people in the chat just yet, and that's fine. I just wanted to uh, make sure that everybody knows what's going on. Okay. So we put that in there. There's the live link. Oh, sorry. It went in. It went into. It went into everybody's chat. <laughs> sorry. All right. 
Um, so up top is your best bet. Why? It's 2v2. You're running a bubble screen. You have a safety back a little bit. So if you're running the bubble screen and the corner blocks, that to me is the best bet. All right? Here, there's just too many defenders and too many defenders right here. Not going to have enough to block. So let's go ahead and run the play. It's first and five, by the way. So let's run it. And that's exactly where the quarterback's going to go. He's going to go up top. Corner bails. So the receiver that's supposed to block the corner, he does a good job. This is a good job, guys, by the by the receiver who's supposed to block because he adjusts to the to the safety who's driving down. By blocking him, that now allows his teammate to get upfield and go. So let's go ahead and take a look back. We're going to back up. Let's see if the other people do something similar. Do they run block? Do they They just pass block? So I guess he just calls it. For me, to me, I would have probably just had everything, keep it honest. That's how I would typically run it. But apparently that's not how they want to do it. And, that, and that's fine, guys. That's, that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So... Up top, best matchup, I like it, take advantage of it. So that's the first one, okay? So now, here we go, second one. It's a little bit of a different look. Remember, before, we had two receivers to one side, right? We had two, re we had two receivers. One was on the line, and when one was off the line over here, opposite our gate. Notice we have a back. And it looks like two tight ends, right? And as Tyler in the chat says, right, so we have one, two, three, four blockers. Our safety is trying to split the difference right here. Excuse me, I should be pink. That should be different color, right? In honor of Ed Orgeron, okay? Right? So he's trying to split the difference, and because of that, if you look at it, we got 4v4. We got enough blockers to block, right? So let me erase this guy. We have 1v1 down here. So we could take that matchup. I think there's – I don't know what he's doing. He's not even looking. You might be able to block enough up there. But as Tyler in the chat is saying, guys, 4v4 is the mistake right here for UCLA, right? You can block however you want to block, and you can run your quarterback, right? And he can be the runner. It's 4v4 blocking, and the quarterback is the fifth guy, and he can run. It's third and three, and that's exactly what UCLA is going to do. I like the blocks right there. We're going to go back again. Remember, now remember, we're doing a film breakdown, film study, so we do this a little bit different, guys. We are going to do this in such a way that uh, when we do this film, when we do this film study, it is more about uh, going back, rewinding, slowing it down, and things like that. So if you're coming in, this is what we're going to be doing. So let's go back. Okay, so we have that play. From before, let's go back to it. Okay, I think for me, I like the center. I think the center blocks right here. He's going to come right here, kick right here, and then the back just leads up on him. And it's a good job by the quarterback following. I like how he's following him right there. Um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead. Excuse me here, guys. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, so let's run the play. Oh, he doesn't go for him. He actually goes for the guy right in front of him. Okay. And then the back just cleans up whoever's left. Is that what it's looking like to you guys? Just This is the problem that this formation puts. And if you haven't seen it on film, you're adjusting on the fly, and that's what it, that's the problem for UCLA. I mean, look at look at over here as well, guys. He's not even looking. Is he running a route? You think he's running a route over there? That's, 
That's interesting if he's running a route over there. Okay. Yeah, he's running a route. He's running a route. How is Zach? What? They're running routes. The two receivers are running routes. How is that going to work if they're blocking downfield? Because imagine if if they have enough. I, I guess he's just going to catch and throw it. Okay, hold on. Let's look again at it. Okay. So we're engaging. He's not really driving, though, right? So he's not getting too far downfield. Back can't get through. He kind of does. Let's go back. Let's go back a little bit here, guys. And for those of you coming into the chat, just so you're aware, guys, this is what film study is. We rewind, we play, we rewind, we play. We go through the stuff as we do it, guys. So this is what this is part of the whole film study. We're looking at the first steps. So let's look at it. I mean, down, down here, this guy is not even paying attention. I'm wondering if they're paying it. If, if someone's going, hey, man, we need to throw that. Ooh. Tyler, I would have ran the wide receiver to the top on smoke. Corner bells off and sees the completion if you want it. But I can see with the defender split and they don't want to risk that ball. Yeah, like I can see because this guy is – because I, I get what you're saying. Because this guy is – is coming up and just being aggressive right there. That you're not afraid. What I what I when I, I I've done it before with youth football. <laughs> this formation, guys. Before for me, I've always put the receiver like back here, and then like had this guy on the line so that you have someone behind. So they now the defense really has to respect that there's someone behind the line. Can't have the corner up. I might I, I I would have liked that a little bit better, but hey, you know what? It works out. By the way, Tyler, will you try command exclamation point history? Let's see if that works with the bot on this channel. Okay, so that's that play. That's that. That's the way we're looking at that one. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I like it. I like it. Okay, so hold on. All right, so here we go. This is the play. Why is UCLA playing so far off? Are they afraid of getting beat? You think having the those two tight ends off allows them to set up a chip and release whenever they whenever they want to? You can't play it with two interior committed players, so it stresses the D even more. That's actually not a bad idea. You could send them out on routes. I'm just I'm just thinking it's a little bit harder to throw anything out to the receiver out there because your linemen have to be so aggressive so quickly. But that might be the better way to do it. So why here's my question. Why is this guy way back? Why is he way back here? Like why? It's cover three, uh, apparently. I don't know. Mad, very deep. Like, why is he so deep? I don't. I don't get why he's so deep on this film, on, on this play, right? Uh, I mean, to me, your play. You got it's second and four. They've thrown the bubble out of this look. You think it's because he keeps running a post, but they've got a guy overhanging him. This play is so quick because I, I just don't think they have enough to block. I have not. The only to, I, I, I'm just confused as to why he's so deep. I don't know that I'd have my guy that deep, but maybe. You think that's what they're thinking? Maybe they're thinking. I could understand it if it was. 
Like the like if I hey, Eagles, I could understand it. Your Wi Fi is booty, I said line coach, it's okay. If you want to watch it on the on the on the app, it, it should work on the app too. Oh, I that's right. It wasn't letting you chat. Stupid thing. Stupid. Stupid stupid app. See, on this formation, Eagles, I could understand them having a safety right here because it's 1v1 and you want to help out just in case. This guy goes this way or he does run that. Because I could understand that. Because everybody's shifted over, but I don't know. I don't know about this formation. I mean, they're playing so far off right there, Eagles. Eagles, huh? Tyler, sorry. I'm calling someone by the by their Twitch name. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just so far off. They're so far off on the second and four. Like, you're just asking for anything quick. It's a 0-0 zero -zero game, by the way, guys. Arizona State's not very good. I know. Bubble's wide open, Tyler. Look how far off they're playing. Well, I'm like, why are they so far off? Because here's the thing about this form about this thing, guys, about this formation. They only got three blockers. There's four guys rushing. So somebody's going to come free. Okay? Somebody is going to come free. And because of that, quarterback doesn't have the time in the world. This formation, it, 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 it creates confusion. But it also leaves your quarterback kind of open. So that's why I'm surprised. Like they just these guys have got to pick up blitzers. It's I, I just don't like it. I don't know why. Maybe someone else has an idea, but okay, let's run it. We're gonna throw the bubble. And it's a first down. Like, okay, cool. Glad you did that. It's a it's a first down. Go back. I maybe need to have a command that says they only rush one man. Yeah, they're only rushing one guy. Playing everything like Yeah, if they only rush one man, then I guess that's why they're playing someone deep. I guess they they're thinking we gotta be careful. Satellite D? What is a satellite? Like they just have one guy rush and everybody else is playing deep? Because I don't like that. I, yeah. Like, I'm just looking at this. They've already run the bubble on you before out of this look. I don't know. Middle of the field, 15 to 12. Well, that's what he is about. Maybe that's where they got it from. Coach Long brought it in, and they're like, oh, yeah, let's do this. But, guys, I'm just I'm just looking at this stuff. Um, I, should have a, I should have a timer that's like, this is film study. We take longer breaking down. We talk a lot. We move things slow forward. This is acting like coaches. So there's a couple guys in the chat that are coaches that are chatting, that I'm chatting with, Tyler and SJ Line Coach. So that's why we're talking about stuff going through. Maybe they are running the satellite defense, SJ Line Coach. Maybe they are running that, and that's what we're seeing. But it just seems weird that that's the offense that they're going to run. I, I don't know if I like it. And I just – You've already seen them throw the bubble screen out of this look, and you're playing um how many yards is that seven to eight yards off? You're just opening yourself up, even like a quick arrow route is leaving yourself open. You love the deep think of this challenge just up. Welcome in cornbread. Welcome in. Thank you for the sub. yeah, we I used to coach football. I coached football for nine years. This is one of my rings for my time coaching. SJ line coach who's in the chat that you've probably seen in the chat. He just, uh, he just won a state championship. So I'm wearing mine in solidarity with the man. His team just won a state championship. So 
we're doing film study. Film study is a little bit different. We like to do the little, we're going to go slow. If you notice, I'm rewinding, go slow. When I do breakdown videos, which is what I'm doing on this channel, we'll play it more. We'll go over what the play is doing, and then we'll just watch the play. But this, we're talking about stuff. I don't like the call because, again, they've already run this play out of out of this look, and that's why it works. They throw the bubble. And once again, once again, the corner is slow. This corner is slow to, to, to come up, right? So the first time the corner was slow, second time it's a, it's a, the corner's slow to come up as well. Huh. I don't know if I will. Hmm. That's why I don't know if I like the satellite defense against this. Same formation. Same formation. This guy's more than looking with the safety that. Look where the safety's at. Yeah. Guys, look at where the safety's at. How many yards is that? That is 10. That's 16 yards. Why is he at 16 yards? What defense are they calling? And Corbett, if you see something that we don't see or something that I don't say, just just call it out. Don't hesitate. Don't Don't think... You're more than welcome to say anything you would like. That is, who is, what? Who is UCLA's DC? So Cornbread, like I said, if you see something that we're not seeing as a play runs, let us know. Danton Lynn. Hold on. Where's he? Where's his? What's his background? And when we're talking about bad alignment, the reason we're saying bad alignment is, look at the bottom, guys. Look at the bottom. So they're way spread out right here. There's only four. There's only three. And this guy against four blockers. I would throw the screen right here. And let block, block, block. Well, actually, no, block, block, block. He's got to go block. I mean. <laughs> so I just don't love it. I, I'm not a big fan of this. Let's see here. Let's see his. Okay, Danton Lynn. He is from. He's from the NFL. That that kind of makes sense, guys, just because the NFL doesn't see stuff like this sometimes. But the Ravens kind of do some of those stuff now. By the way, we're gonna watch Ravens film at some point. Little cornbread, hey, cornbread, you're now you're now attached to yesterday line coach. Yeah, I okay. Let's run the play. They got four rushing. Bubble again, corner slow, safety. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. What the hell? The corner is just bailing every time, and he's slow to react. Right? He is slow to re he's he's a step behind. So when he does come up, it's too late. And that's just piss poor tackling. I mean, that, there's no reason this play should get inside the 20. Let's see. Oh, he's not even running a smoke screen down below. Eagles. Look, he's not even running a smoke screen. He's running a route. I know, that's what I'm saying. They haven't thrown the bluff yet. And he's just, he's just a hair behind. I don't mind that he's backing up, but see how he keeps backing up? He's a little bit slow and reacting. See, I would keep throwing the bubble screen against him. Like, why Why not? Like, make them, def make them stop it. It's worked every time for at least five yards. Right? Just keep throwing it. I mean, I'll take five yards every time. Because then he's eventually going to screw up, and then you go over the top. Like, I, I, 
I don't know. Whoa. See, now, look, this is a lot better. I like this alignment a lot better by UCLA, except we got two, one, three guys against five down here. If this is not a smoke screen, if this is not a smoke screen down below, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be so pissed. I'm not joking. I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> okay, let's run it. Let's run it. Let's see here. Oh, my God. They, it gets stuffed? Why would they allow the offensive player to get that many yards to get going? So what you have to understand, Corbin, let's go back to it. Let's, let's We'll go back to the play. What he is trying to do, so one of the things that you'll see commonly, what you'll commonly see, Cornbread, and I'll, I'll walk you through it just so you understand, is they'll throw a bubble screen just like this, right? And then the defenders will chase up. They'll come up hard. And when they do that, the next time they do that, he's then going to just race by. Quarterback's going to fake the pump. So the quarterback's going to pump like he's throwing the bubble, reset, and then throw the deep ball. So the problem is they're being a little bit slow. Like when you talk, when you coach it up, you want them to be – so like we'll step through it real quick. We'll step through this so you can see what it is. What he's we, I get what he's trying to do. He's trying to respect that the receiver may be coming like he's going to block, and instead he takes off running down the field. So he's trying to respect it. But he's a little slow in reaction because his eyes, once his eyes see that, to his, that his, the safety's running into him, he's not running a route. He should keep driving. He kind of does. But that that's where the problem is, and they just don't get a good tackle. That's why we don't like that's why we don't like the safety there. Because okay. Hold on. The video has gone rogue. It's not letting me stop it. It's gone rogue. It's gone rogue. That's why though we don't like the safety way in the middle of the field like this. Because he's not able to come up and help stop on that play as well. I mean, he's going to come up, and it's about 10-yard gain by the time he even hits, and he doesn't even wrap up. So for me, I just don't like it. But that's why um, they're not – they're trying to mitigate a big play, but the problem is they still give, they still give up the big play because they don't tackle very well here. They're a little slow on reaction time, and yeah. But the problem is this is the third time that they've run that play. And that, that, By the way, guys, that's the same play right after the last one. So they just are doing it again and again. So that's why. All right. I can't believe they don't get this. This doesn't go big. This should be a touchdown, guys. Guys, this should be a touchdown. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How is this not a touchdown? I want I want someone to <laughs> I can't believe this. Guys, this should be a walk-in touchdown. I I would I would prefer that he looks outside. He steps down but keeps an eye out there. Combo combo up here to here up to him. I mean, this should be a walk-in. This should be a running touchdown. He should be gone. How was this not gone? By the way, Cornbread, I hope I answered your question. If I didn't, let me know. Sorry, I should have said that. Let me know if I didn't answer that question. If I didn't, let me know, and I will gladly, gladly, uh, gladly try and explain it a little bit better. And hopefully, I clean clean that up. 
It should be. Oh, go. I I feel sick. He should just be able to come out. Kink. She uh touchdown. That should just be gone. Oof. Oof. So we don't have any eyes to the guys coming. We have enough blocking. Ball is also kind of bad. Look how low it is. He's down. No problem, Cornbread. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. You stick around here, and then you go to your friends and be like, well, actually, guys, let me explain the benefits of a spread offense. <laughs> He's running at a four eye right there, and that's why his feet are turning this way. <laughs> You'll like make bets with your tea, with your buddies. You'll be like, hey, would you like to bet on this? <laughs> I'll make some money on you. <laughs> You'll be the knowledgeable one. They'll be like, what? What? How does he know? Is he down? He looks down right there. D doesn't he? That's a bad throw. This, this is just a bad. This should be a walk-in touchdown. If he can hit him where he can just head upfield, it's off to the races. Oh, man. This is terrible. This is a terrible alignment, guys. This is a terrible alignment for all you out there in YouTube land. They got basically five guys around three. There's seven guys for six players. So there's one extra, and they've got five guys down here, and there's only three. They're lucky that the quarterback threw this ball bad and no one came off to stop the backer because that should be gone for a touchdown. That should be gone for a touchdown. Oh, well. I think it's interesting. <laughs> I can't. Wow. Get the explanation right for my friends. Nice. Nice. There you go. You'll be like pulling stuff out. You'll be talking like a coach soon, and they'll be like, and they'll be all thinking, how does he know? And you'll know. Cornbread, we're about to switch over to the 49ers. What's your, do you have an NFL team and a college football team? That's just a bad throw. That killed that play. All right. Okay, I'm going to switch over right now, guys. We're going to go to the 49ers. I do want to give a special shout out to our members at the booster level and above for the support here on the channel. If you wish to have your name appear on screen just like this, make sure to join as a member level of booster and above for that to happen. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're enjoying breakdown videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel on the end screen. There will be a recommended video. It will be uh, another breakdown video. Everybody have a good one. We'll see you next time.